Good morning. My name is Carol Spencer, and I'll be reading to you this morning from Esther chapter 2, verses 1 through 18. After these things, when the anger of King Abasis had abated, he remembered Vesta and she, what she had done and what had been decreed against her. Then the king's servants who attended him said, Let the beautiful young virgins be sought out for the king. And let the king appoint commissioners in all the provinces of his kingdom to gather all the beautiful young virgins to the harem in the citadel of Susa, under the custody of Hagar, the king's eunuch, who is in charge of women. Let their cosmetic treatments be given then, and let the girl who pleases the king be king instead of Vesta. This pleased the king, and he did so. Now there was a Jew in the citadel of Susa, whose name was Mordecai, son of Jard, son of Simon, son of Kish, and a Benjaminite. Kish had been carried away from Jerusalem among the captives carried away with King Joka of Judah, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon had carried away. Mordecai had brought up with Hasha, that is Esther, his cousin. She had neither father nor mother. The girl was beautiful, and when her father and her mother died, Mordecai adopted her as his own daughter. When the king's order and his edict were proclaimed, and many young women were gathered in the citadel of Susa in the custody of Hagar, Esther also was taken to the king's palace and put in the custody of Hagar, who had charge of the women. The girl pleased him and won his favor, and he quickly provided her with cosmic treatments and her portion of food, and with seven chosen maidens from the king's palace, and advanced her and her maids to the best place in the harem. Esther did not reveal her people or kindred, for Mordecai had charged her not to tell. Every day Mordecai would walk around in front of the court of the harem to learn how Esther was and how she fared. The turn came for each girl to go to the king as Asuras after being 12 months under the regulations of women, which this was a regular period for cosmetic treatment. Six months of oil myrrh and six months of perfumes and cosmetics for women. When the girl went to the king, she was given whatever she asked to take with her from the harem to the king's palace. In the evening, she went in, then in the morning, she came back and to the second harem in the custom of Shangargaz, the king of eunuchs. He was the charge of the concubines. She did not go to the king again unless the king delighted in her and she was summoned by name. When the turn came for Esther, daughter of Habal, and uncle Arbit, uh, Mordecai, who had adopted her as his own daughter, to go to the king, she asked for nothing except what Hagar, the king's eunuch, had in charge of the women advised. Now Esther was admired by all who saw her. When Esther was taken to King Asherah in the royal mount palace, in the tenth month, which is the month of Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. The king loved Esther more than any of the other women. All of the virgins, she won his favor and devotion, so that he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vesta. Then the king gave a royal banquet for all the girls, all the officials and ministers, Esther's banquet. He also granted a holiday to the providences and gave gifts with royal liberty. Thank you. This is a reading from Esther.